So here are three simple strategies for making the most of your heart virtue. Number one, the way we identify your heart virtue is by taking an inventory of the goosebumps moments in your life. You know how you're watching a movie and there's one scene that's like, yes, that's the way life should be? Well, the reason that scene is so beautiful for you is because it resonates with your heart virtue. What's being expressed there is your passion and your calling in life. The second strategy is to take one small act of courage every day. Think of where you'd be if you just stretched a little bit every day, one phone call, one meeting, one document, in alignment with the world that you want to create. A courageous call to someone that you don't even think will give you the time of day. If you did that every day, where would you be in a year? The third strategy is we live in a survival mode most of the time. Our brain is telling us don't, hold back. But let me tell you something about your brain. It's incredibly creative and once you live from your heart and say we're going to do this thing, your brain goes into a creative mode and it will handle whatever you give it. You can bite off more than would be humanly possible and your brain will figure out a way to accomplish those goals. So the three strategies are take an inventory of your goosebumps, find out what your passion is, take one small act of courage every day and live from your heart, not your brain. Use this as your compass because your brain will accomplish whatever you set your heart to. There is one great obstacle to living in alignment with your heart virtue and living from the inside out. And it is basically the fear of being a fool. Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln, Mother Teresa. Whatever they accomplished and whatever they did, they started out looking like a fool. Like Gandhi, you think you're going to liberate your country? You don't even have an army. So what stops us is the unwillingness to be perceived as a fool. And the truth is, if you're really in alignment with what's meaningful to you and speaking it authentically, you won't look like a fool. Gandhi never did. It's just the fear of looking like a fool. And let me tell you something about that fear. It's not fear. It's excitement. What's the difference between fear and excitement? You know, two people jump off a bridge with a bungee cord tied around their ankles. One of them screams, ah! The other one goes, wee! So when I'm asking you to go out and take one small act of courage every day, what I'm really asking you to do is be willing to be perceived as that fool because it's the only thing stopping you. If you do that, you're going to learn something in every conversation. There are winners and there are learners, so you can't lose. Go for it. Thank you.